Today I have a super time saving tip in After Effects that will help you speed up your previews on your timeline. Let's jump in. Now what I've got here is a composition. I'm gonna go ahead and preview this. This is a project from a lesson in Journey to Motion Mastery. It's part of the membership in motion science. And you can see we've got lots of 3D layers here moving. We've got 3D lights here in our timeline. We've got an After Effects camera, pre-comps, layers of curtains, all that kind of stuff. But what I wanna show you here is there's this little column right here called render time. And if you don't have this column, what you need to do is just go to columns and go down here to render time and make sure this is selected. And when you do that, you're gonna see this pop up. Now, what it's showing us in render time is the green numbers are good. The yellow numbers are okay. Orange isn't so great. And then like a bright orange, almost a red color here is not good. It's a pretty long render time. And you can see these are in milliseconds. So like the point light is zero milliseconds of rendering time. We get into these pre-comps, 225 milliseconds, 525 milliseconds. And then we have the house here, 3.95 seconds, right? To render, that means it takes 3.95 seconds to render one frame on our timeline of that pre-comp. So this column is really interesting. If you're working in a project and you find that it's kind of bogging you down and you're like, you don't know why it's taking so long to render a frame, this is where you look. So I'm gonna scroll through here, and as I scroll through, you can see the numbers are changing under the render times. And sometimes we're hitting four seconds. And let's just keep going through here. Here's a red, 5.45 seconds right here, this house is taking to render. For whatever reason, at this frame, it's taking 5.45 seconds to render this particular frame out. So what I'm gonna do for this pre-comp is I'm gonna right click, and I'm going to say reveal layer source and project. And it's going to go up here in my project window and reveal this to me. Now here I can right click and I can say create proxy still or movie. Now, because this is an animation, I want to create a movie file. So I'm gonna click movie and you can see it already gives me some preset render settings and an output module container as well. And then here's the naming convention. So I just have to click here and name it. And I'm gonna leave it the same name, house.mov, because my pre-comp is called house. And then we hit render. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna render that pre-comp out. And you're gonna see all of a sudden now up here in the project window, there's a little box here beside our asset. Now, what that box is telling us is that this is a proxy render. If I go back into my main comp, now you can see the house, exact same frame that was taking almost five seconds to render, is now taking 797 milliseconds to render. A lot quicker, right? So all this is doing is it's replacing this pre-comp with this proxy render. It's basically a pre-rendered QuickTime movie of my pre-comp. Now at any time, I can come up here to the project window and I can click this button. And all of a sudden, now down here in the timeline, you can see it's back to 5.45 seconds. This is back to our unrendered pre-comp. And that's all there is to it. Now you wanna make sure that before you render your final timeline out with everything in here, that the proxy is turned off and then you just render just like normal. And that's all there is to it. It's a very simple quick tip I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I will see you in the next video.